Hey everybody, what's up? It's Ryan Groose from Your Rock, and today we're gonna take an inside look at the new Rich Redmond Big Modern Drums Volume 1. Uh, right now we're listening to the multi-track edition. As you can see now, we're in Logic, um, and it features nine channels of audio. Uh, so if you want to take a closer look at what's in there um, with each, each channel, channel one is a kick. You can hear here's the hi-hat mic on two. So we've got two snare mics, a top snare mic and an underneath snare mic. So get a little more of the crispiness. Some tom mics right here. He's not hitting the toms, so you can't hear him, but there's a uh, rack tom and a floor tom. Overhead. And then what really makes this uh, pack special are these two room mics. So one is kind of your standard room mic. Just kind of gives you the, more, more of a bigger, you know, less of a tight drum sound and more of a roomy sound. And this other one was a mic that was way up in the loft of the recording studio and it's squashed extra hard with a compressor. So this one kind of really helps you bring in like a bit more like an aggressive, trashy, uh, bigger sound in, in, into your mix. So these two are really great to play with in order to kind of dial in the, the size of the, of the drum sound you're looking for. And if you look at the actual loop pack itself, you'll see all these multi-track loops. If I get back to it, back into it we're in uh, the Money beat session here. It's 86 BPM. Um, and everything's organized. As you can see, kind of what the drum performance is. So like loose hat, this is, we're listening to the verse building part right now. Um, let's put in a loose hat groove so we can kind of show you how easy and, and quick it is to work with. Uh, let's see here, loose hat. All you do is highlight all and you just drag and drop straight into your DAW. And it, this can be any DAW, Cubase, Pro Tools, you name it. Use existing tracks, so boom, boom, that's over here now. So now we'll hear a loose, more of like a rock and roll kind of, you know, open hi-hat type groove. And so if I was to mix this, obviously, bring the overhead down a little. I would pan the toms. You can't hear the toms right now, but I always, you know, mix everything to like uh, drummer's perspective. So the hi-hat would go over to the left a little bit. And then I would further, you know, the great thing about the multi-tracks is you have control over the mix. So you can start putting in your own plugins, your own EQ, your own compression. What you're hearing now is just the drums as they were recorded through the preamps at Greybox Studio. And another cool thing, if actually most DAWs, if you're in Logic, use Smart Tempo before you import these loops because you can use any tempo you want with the multi-tracks. So we can take this all the way up to 100 BPM and hear what that sounds like. So it can time stretch things uh, in a pretty natural fashion. You can even go below the tempo of 82 as opposed to 86. So all kinds of uh, control and flexibility with the multi-tracks. Uh, let's dive over to the samples. Cool, so now we're looking at the samples from the kit, or you're actually looking at the machine, but the samples are in here. Um, and when you purchase the Rich Redmond pack, you get two machine kits. So you get uh, a dry kit and the wet kit. And you also get all the samples too, so you don't need to be a machine user. You can drag and drop these into any sampler, or if you're a V-Drums user, um, or any other electronic drum brand, you can drag and drop these samples to trigger from your own drums. So let's just take a quick listen. Uh, this is the dry kit. So as you can hear, that's still still big sounding drums because Rich is definitely hitting hard and it was in a big room, but um, the dry kit doesn't have all the room mics and reverb in it, so it's a more controlled sound. So big, but still, still kind of tight. And if we hop over to the wet kit, you'll definitely hear the difference right away. Hear the reverb. So this is definitely for you know a bigger, maybe ballad or harder rock type situation. That's kind of where the wet kit comes in. So you have, going back to the dry, 
and wet. So that's that for the samples. Uh, let's take a quick look at the stereo loops and I'll also show you how you have the dry and wet mixes with the stereo loops. So now we're checking out the stereo loops inside of Ableton. Um, and as you'll see, I've loaded two identical sessions um, in Ableton. The only difference is one is the dry mix on the left here, and then on the right is the wet mix. So if you can, doing this, you can kind of A, B, and hear the difference. So let's take a quick listen to the dry. I'll be quiet. And then the wet. Here we go. So as you can hear, definitely a lot more reverb, bigger drum sound. The dry is a tighter, more natural sound, but either works. It just depends on the ap application, the song, the production that you're working on. Um, and let's take a quick look at the different song sections that come with every, with every um, session. So you'll see right now it says verse 1, verse 2, verse 3. These are all different variations of verse grooves. If I wanted to go to a pre-chorus groove, I just click that goes to like a reggae type uh, four on the floor thing and then we go to a chorus big open hi-hat thing and the other part we also include with most of these sessions are percussion parts so I'm just gonna load a bunch of these into Ableton just drop them in it's gonna be a little hot so we'll bring the levels down but let's just listen to what's here shaker tambourine and you can even put these on separate tracks oops just grab one of those so if you want a tambourine and a shaker let's go for it and those can keep running as you're moving the, uh, the drum you know the drum parts around so let's go back to a verse groove it'll tighten up here And again, this is Ableton, so we can speed up and slow down. You know, we wanted to go faster. A little faster. Or if you wanted to go back to the wet mix. Chorus on the wet mix. So all kinds of uh, options here for, for big or tight. Um, we've tried to cover dot our I's and cross our T's for you so you've got everything you need. Go back into a pre-chorus fill. Whoa. And then back into a verse. So I hope that gives you all a pretty uh, good understanding of what comes with the Rich Redmond pack. Um, if you have any questions at all, give us a, a, a shout at support at yourrock.com or leave a comment here below the video wherever you're seeing this. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.